Hey, Jimmy Murphy here, Boston Hockey Now. The Boston Bruins fall 5-2 in Game 2 and are now down 2-0 in the Best of 7 Series in the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. And the Carolina Hurricanes are just in complete command of this series right now, and it, it, it's not a stretch to say that this could be over in four and there could be a sweep. However, you know, the Bruins do have leadership. They do have guys like Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, who really needs to wake up in this series for the Bruins to have a chance. Uh, there, there is a good leadership core there that could get them back into the series, and the next two games are in Boston on Friday and Sunday. But let's look back at this game right now. The Bruins came out, and instead of being focused more on being faster and, and getting the puck out of their zone quicker and, and getting through the neutral zone and creating offense, they seemed a little more focused on the physical aspect and trying to get under the skin of the Carolina Hurricanes, and it kind of backfired on them. And then a galvanizing moment for the Hurricanes was when David Posnack collided. Some will call it a dirty hit. Some will call it incidental contact. I don't know. It's David Posnack. As Bruce Cassidy said, come on, the Bruins are on a power play right now, and David Posnack's not a dirty player. He wants to be out there to score a power play goal. So uh, it's, it's iffy there. So, But nonetheless, Antti Ranta goes down from that collision, and he ends up leaving the game. Uh, and then I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Carolina Hurricanes rookie goalie, rookie backup that came in. Uh, Kichikov? 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 I, I apologize. It is what it is. However, this rookie goalie was sensational. You know, some of the boss reporters are saying he wasn't tested, but Bruce Cassidy said it after. He made some sensational stops, made 30 saves on 32 shots in relief of Ranta, and that sort of galvanized the the Canes, uh, from that moment on, they start to pick it up offensively. They also up their physical game and actually answered it better than the Bruins had. Um, and then a scary moment in the second period, Hampus Lindholm takes a vicious high hit uh, from Andrei Svechnikov. And, you know, at second glance, I first thought it was a clean hit, but the more I look at it, now about seven or eight times, there's a great shot I saw from a photographer here for the Boston Globe. Uh, I obviously don't have the rights to show it to you, but I'm sure it'll be in the paper tomorrow. Uh, he had the principal point of contact was his elbow chicken winging up into Lindholm's chin. I think that deserves a hearing, and I think it deserves a suspension. I don't know if that's going to happen, but nonetheless, the Bruins now are going to be without their second-best defenseman for who knows how long. They weren't even sure if Lindholm could uh, come home with them on, on Wednesday night. He might have had to go to the hospital. There was no real update on his status after the game, but it did not look good when he was going off the ice. He needed a lot of help, did not know where he was. So that's a tough loss for the Bruins right now. They're going to have to bring somebody up to fill his spot. And things are not looking good for the Bruins right now. If they want to win this series, they're going to have to really get back to basics and really start to skate with the Hurricanes because right now, speed has been the difference. I'm Jimmy Murphy, Boston Hockey Now.